ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder of the Asian Awards, Mr. Paul Sago. And we've managed to get everyone to sit down. It's amazing. Your Excellencies, my Lords, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sixth Asian Awards. Um, what that short video demonstrates is that over the past five years, we have honored the who's who of the global Asian diaspora, and not just in popular areas such as music, cinema, and television, but in areas like business, public service, and my personal favorite, science. And boy, do we have an amazing science winner tonight. Over the last year, award ceremonies have taken a public relations beating. Social media trends like Oscars So White and others relating to the BAFTAs, Grammys, and Golden Globes have all highlighted a certain resentment from parts of the community. This in turn got me thinking. We started this ceremony to highlight the achievements of Asian people because our stories are just not being heard by the masses due in part to the infatuation of the press with fame, fortune, and scandal. But the reason for this marginalization that stands out for the most is that we have in fact been pigeonholed. We see this in every part of our life. For instance, you may laugh, but why is there an ethnic aisle in a supermarket? Curry is the national dish. It is the most sold product. Why are we why are we with the Mexicans and the Chinese and the Thai marginalized to one aisle in an entire supermarket? Are we not mainstream enough? I think this room tells you we are. And it might seem funny, but this reflects the attitude of many corporations and institutions. And many of our winners tonight, you may not have heard of them, but they are massive successes in their own right. And it's because of that that we have these awards. When I look back on our first event in 2010, I remember something clearly that the room was mainly South Asian. Those of you who were here would know, probably bordering 95% South Asian. No Chinese as such, very little white people. But ladies and gentlemen, just look around you right now. Every color, creed, race, and ability is represented here tonight. Now that's what I call diversity. That is what I call diversity. Although the original premise of the Asian Awards is to give people of Asian origin a platform to be recognized, we also see it in our own little way as our responsibility to be culturally inclusive as well. There are so many individuals around the world who are not of Asian origin, but whose remarkable contributions to the Asian community need to be highlighted. Therefore, moving forward, I'm proud to announce we have opened out our prestigious Founders Award, and maybe later other awards to honor those whose work has had an impact in Asia or has contributed to the lives of Asian pe people of Asian origin, irrespective of their cultural background. We hope that this helps to demonstrate our dedication to diversity to the world while still keeping in mind why we launched the Asian Awards six years ago. And tonight, we will start that. It's not just words that we'll do in the future. Tonight, we will start by honoring someone very special through the Founders Award who will become the first non-Asian recipient of an Asian Award. Those of you who were here last year would remember that we were the first global event to broadcast publicly on Periscope. It was very early then, we were talking about a year ago, so they, Twitter just bought it. Um, but you'd remember that the hashtag, the Asian Awards, I think putting something up there, did rather well. We broke several records um, and several global records. So this year we want to do it bigger and better. And there's so many more people with a lot of social influence in this room. So I would say, get your phone out. And the uh, hashtag is the Asian Awards, and the handle is the Asian Awards. Instagram, whatever you need to do, but let's get that message out, and let's get ourselves trending again, and let's make history once again. 
Tonight, we're in support of our headlining charity partner, Global Citizen, global initiative eliminate, uh, that has been initiated to eliminate global poverty. We want to provide them with the utmost support tonight. On your tables, you'll find iPads for a silent auction. All the prizes are over there. So, gents, dig deep. You know, buy your wife or your significant other that special bracelet, necklace, or take her on a holiday or whatever you need to do. But it's time to now start thinking about digging deep. Please bid away. We don't have a live auction tonight, so it's the only way we're going to be able to fundraise. So all your generosity is greatly appreciated to those who need it most. Talking of partners, we're very grateful to have some amazing partners. You know, things like this just really don't happen. And I just want to say thank you to Spectrum Events, our associate headline partner. Thank you for the support and love uh, to make this room look very different. I was at a couple of award ceremonies uh, over the last two weeks, and it looks nothing like this. So I'm very proud to have them as a partner. Uh, to our other partners, Chopard, Rolls-Royce Motorcars, Aquascutum, Kick It Entertainment, Shivers, Chak89, Crep Protect. By the way, Crep Protect are shining your shoes and there's a charging device. What more do you want? We're shining your shoes, we're feeding you, we're drinking you, we're charging your device. That's not bad, right? Um, Asian Wealth Magazine, Cobra, Deviolet, Amovio and all our associated partners and a special thanks to uh, Lord Bill and Moria of Chelsea for chairing over the judging panel and all to all our suppliers and all our port partners and all our supporters. And of course to our families and our loved ones who bear the biggest brunt of us doing this and to that I am eternally grateful. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's try and keep to time. Um, I really do mean that, let's, let's try and keep to time. And I just wish you a very, very good evening. Good night.